Hey everybody! Hello! Hillary Raven Porter here and Derek, Derek Pennant, the Cosmic Messenger. Yeah. Uh, so we just finished um, Antakarana Chakra Scrub Root Focused. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, so this is the second chakra scrub in a series of chakra scrubs. There'll be four in total. The first is foundational, the second is an Antakarana. Mm. Uh, which is our Rainbow Bridge. Excuse my arm. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, well. <laughs> it is the Rainbow Bridge. It's, it connects you to your higher self state, uh, higher body, higher being, divine current. I see it as like a highway. Yeah, highway of current. Uh, yeah, so we didn't do this last round, but we'd posted some things on stories. You like how the light's doing the like back and forth. Can you see it? It's like. Mm -hmm. It's fluctuating. Welcome to the current. Quantum. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, so we've done some stories on Insta after a couple of last ones, and people seem to really enjoy those. And what a better way to get insight into what's going on behind the scenes than to actually do a little clip. Mm -hmm. I say little, but I have no idea how long any of them will end up being um, after each of the sessions. So tonight, Antakarana Tamiana, uh, Chakra Scrub root focus, sadaha, right? So that means the root within the root, within the sacral, within the solar plexus, all the way up and into the antakarana. So all things aligned with root through all layers of being, going from foundational up into the higher self state. So tonight, Derek did the receiving. Tomorrow night, I get to receive. Can you tell? Okay, yeah, right? <laughs> right? So, um, yeah, so I'm going to let Derek just give you a little few of the highlights and what it was like. Well, first off, it feels absolutely incredible. I highly recommend taking the program. <laughs> <laughs> Diving into the immersive. Oh, it's, it's awesome, though. Um, from some of the main things I was feeling was my aura felt really expansive in terms of how much larger it is from its normal field. So you could really feel it to its outer core and it felt expanded into the room. Um, we're also was laying on our um, healthy line multi-wave mats. You got all those crystals going off. And what do we, we call it? Wavy McWaverson. We call it wavy. <laughs> so whenever right? you hear us say wavy, <laughs> we mean our PEMF. Super photonic. Infrared crystal infrared, mat, which is yeah. in the sessions. But anyways, carry Millions on. of negative ions coming out per minute. <laughs> so that was really awesome. Um, I had a lot of visualizations going into it, and I also found it really easy to just sink into myself and then go on the astral journey that I needed to go on. And as far as the Antakarana component, which I am just absolutely love, and we had the root chakra, right, follow us up through this one, because we're doing like seven weeks worth, right? Yeah, the Eight, okay, seven, eight exactly. Seven chakras, but eight sessions, because mm -hmm. we have the ceiling container ah. at the end. Ooh. And it was, I find with these, it's able to compound that information more. So when the root comes through it, you get to go through the cosmic root aspects as mm -hmm. well, too. I had a lot of visualizations of, for myself, it'd be a long time to decode, but I had solar plexus, throat, and higher crown chakra come through and they were all linked together and then I was at this giant control system these huge knobs that you could turn and move and it was animating the parameters of my patterns I was doing it with spirit at the exact same time and seeing what reactions and actions that would take place after I was moving around the controls which was super cool and also I found it to be um, when you were in the galactic cord component I found it to be um, a lot more, um, even finer and lighter than it was through just regular Antakarana, right? Yeah. So that was nice too, because then you're able to isolate each each layer that you're on and um, pick up more information, right? Easily connected to spirit, medicines come through really fast. It was a very accelerated. When we were talking to Hillary, it's like time was comp compressed and compounded and you get a lot more done in what you might think would be an hour um during the session it was like it went so fast for me but yet there was so much that occurred mm -hmm. it was probably the quickest session i've actually ever had it was so fast well, at least felt felt <laughs> feeling wise right but then you merge with the other timelines yeah. you come back to the zone you're like hey an hour passed all right <laughs> and it's true though when you are doing spirit work the more and more you do and the more it's just part of your world the more you're able to expand and contract time 
at first it takes some effort or you might notice these things happening and then you're like, I want this to happen. And then you have to do things to have happen. But then as you're doing it more and more, it just happens. Exactly. And that was part of what I was speaking about with the visualizations for this session. They came out quick. So as soon as, as soon as I was led co-creating with spirit to go into these insights instantly on my astral journey, it would go into that visual. And as soon as I thought about something else, it would pull it with it. It wouldn't just jump to another frame. It would, you know, like uh, stitch the story together. Mm. It was wicked cool, but it was so fast. It's like instant access. I'm like, there's the Akashic Records. <laughs> that's what also I love about it. So Tamiana, like I said, I'm like a silly king boat. There we go. Oh, that's ah! nice. um, is that Tamiana, whenever I get a session, I tend to leave after usually for me it's around solar plexus and then all of a sudden I come back and I'm like whoa I was like it literally felt like I blinked my eyes yep. and it might be an hour but it literally felt like nothing um do you mind if I share a couple of the other things no go okay. off so, anything that happens for me during a session it's all open yeah always See? I'm cool with that uh so during a session I when I'm gifting a session when I'm giving the session co-creating the session um light code comes through light language comes through and then also uh, words often come through for me. So when you're a practitioner of Tamiyan, it can, it can vary, right? Some people see visuals, some people don't see anything, but it doesn't mean that the activations aren't working. It's just, this is another layer of, um, the wisdoms and the medicines that, um, come through me. Mm -hmm. And so different practitioners are different and stuff. And then we talk about that, um, in facilitator training as well. I get a lot of messages too, that like, just wait for the coming week. <laughs> it's yeah. coming out. Cause it's like stirring the pot up and getting it ready. Right. Yeah. And not trying to give you way too much at the beginning that you can't handle. But at the same time, it is that powerful. Yeah. And once you've set the course, yeah, they become activated fast. It's subtle. Yeah, subtle, exactly. And it's easy to totally. apply, but it's so deep and so profound. And that's what I love about the scrubs is because it's eight weeks back to back. And so, um, like Derek had alluded to in the beginning, the energy compounds on itself. Mm -hmm. It's a cumulative effect. And so you don't have the chance to be like, I don't want to work on this. Even because it, it brings up your patterns. And what we found in the foundational is that it brought up the core root pattern for everybody who's been through the immersive, been through the journey, been through the scrub, been scrubbed. Um, the, the core root pattern has come up, uh, which is, and like then it gets worked here. on as well. Yeah. Yes. Like the core the root physical. pattern here in the physical. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, and then it gets worked on. So it's very, it's very... I have a feeling it, this yeah. one's going to do galactic core root pattern really? for timelines. That, for you? Well, for the onto <laughs> For you? <laughs> the yeah. For myself, yes. For yourself. But it can access those zones, right? Yeah, so it's going to be interesting to so see. So feel things collectively, for sure. Oh, yeah. And that's the thing. When you do this work, like, we know, so the kidlet whenever they're around when this is happening and even during the week and stuff you can see the shifts in them as well and anybody that you come into contact with any being your vibration will influence their vibration mm -hmm. which is naturally what happens now but the healing that you're doing you're doing for the collective not just for yourself and so you are healing the timelines anytime you do this work right so a couple of the other key things that were awesome that came through we had ton of antelope medicine like yeah. ton of antelope medicine, which really relates. So recently the shift is occurring and Derek will be now diving in full into spirit all the time. Yes. Yes. Right. And so, um, and by that, I mean, this is now Derek's offering sessions and everything now. And the vocation um, has, has shifted. The vocation has shifted fully and completely, which is one of the good things about what's happening right now is, out there in the world is that um, we're, we're thrown into these, these new situations and things that maybe we've been thinking about for a long time. And mm -hmm. it's just like, here you go. The great severing, right? It severs all the things that you're like, no, thanks. I'm good. But you just didn't take those steps. And so antelope makes so much sense. Talking about changing gears, shifting quickly, thinking on your feet, right? Like all these amazing acceleration. aspects. Acceleration. Um, and then we had the great cats and apparently so i had written t panther in my head but then i wrote tiger twice on the sheet ha. Ah! Damn. Damn. so <laughs> both of them great cats <laughs> both both awesome tiger you know unique couple patterns if you've ever seen pictures of derek on my on my feed just mm -hmm. a pattern in seven yeah 
Just a few. Right? Just a few. Um, but just this, like, patterns. this house of patterns. If we haven't left the house with four more patterns, then we're like, what are we doing? Go mm -hmm. put on more patterns. Um, mercury, mercurial, flow, crystalline nature. That was a big one that came came in and reflecting back and the ability to speak clearly and also focus with intention, right? And then I really like this one. I'm going to read the root root. Oh, yeah. Okay. Read it out. Okay, I'm going to read the root root. I would Ready? love to hear it again. So what the root root means when I say it's, that. It's like encoded information that yeah. comes out when we're writing things down during the sessions. And I find that... Just like any good sacred medicine, you can read it 10 times over yeah. and extract more out of it. And that, and these, for myself, I always send these after a session to the person receiving, right? Um, so root root means this was the root with one of the focal, with the, the initial focal symbol, right? And so we haven't quite d dove into the Antakarana chord yet. But what's interesting is when you start the session, they already know. And by they, I mean the Palladian guides, the seven sisters that come in. They already know. And they come in and they're like, oh, so, like they love the Antakarana. It's like one of their favorites. Mm -hmm. And so they're like super eager. So it begins even though we haven't tapped into those symbols yet. They should say they live in the Antakarana. They do live in oh, the Antakarana. Okay. Into the light, into the stars, into the galactic federation of light, into the stardust, into the streams of divine line, the galactic highways of transference and decodings, along the highways of intergalactic space travel, intergalactic time travel, intergalactic movement between and within all potential and actual spaces of creations. The quarks, the molarks, and the quinsarts. So I know quarks actually exist. I have no idea about molarks and quinsarts. Maybe we don't know that they exist yet. So that's just some of the... So this is getting super galactic because we're in the Antakrana. This is all like about the root up in the higher self states, right? Yeah. Anything else? Ah, that was perfect. I'm just soaking that all in. Right? So it should pretty be... Pretty awesome. It's going to be pretty funny because I get pretty like... I'm a giraffe! <laughs> like other type odd things after my sessions. So tomorrow, Derek gets to, you know, do most of the talking and I get to try to form words. All right. Ready for it? Sounds like a good exchange. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Eight week exchange. Eight week exchange. Okay. So uh, sleepy time sessions, we should call this because I'm often in my pajajas and um, ready for bed. And the next days after this stuff, I feel amazing. Like it yeah. really helps give me energy, recalibrate my systems. It helps with all the internals yeah. from head to toe. Yeah. It's good stuff. It's from a physical to a spiritual practice. Mm -hmm. So, but Antakarana for the next eight weeks. Okay. Uh, thanks so much. And if you have any questions, comments, check out the info below. Oh yeah. Reach out. Okay. Got some stellar sessions happening over here. <laughs> okay. Bye. Take care, everyone.